Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the final DB enclosure size selection as per given load schedule. The whole discussion will be based on the DIVA regulation. In any of my next video, I will try to make the enclosure size selection as per ADDC regulation. In my previous video, I have deeply discussed about the final distribution board enclosure and its type. I will recommend you to watch that video first, then you come to this video and watch this one. Just for the overview, let us discuss first the few important points which I have already been discussed in my previous video related to final DB enclosure selection and its type. In my previous video, I have explained that there are three types of final distribution board enclosure based on the breaker arrangement. Based on the breaker arrangement, final distribution board enclosure is of three type. First one is row type, second one is way type and third one is split way type. But before to understand the type of the enclosure, we have to understand the term modules. The term module will help us out to understand the type of enclosure of final distribution board. Here I have shown uh, many types of breaker. This is single pole breaker. This is double pole breaker. This is three pole breaker. This is four pole breaker. This is the timer. This is the UV relay. This is another type of UV relay and this is the contactor. Here we have to understand what the module represent. One module represent that there is a space to install single pole MCB. Two module represent that there is a space to install two single pole MCB two sing single pole MCB or there is a space to install double pole single uh, MCB three module represent there is a space to install three single pole MCB or one three pole MCB in same way the four module represent there is a space to install four single pole MCB or one four pole MCB. Here in our example, this one is also UV relay under voltage relay and this one is also UV relay. But this UV relay is considered as a one module because it's taking the same space as the MCB single pole MCB is taking but this UV relay can be considered as a four module because this UV relay is taking the same space as the four pole MCB is taking or four single pole MCB is taking. Hope you got the idea related to the term module. If someone will say that a panel of 16 module then you can imagine that that panel has a space to install 16 single pole MCBs. Now let us back to our original topic that is how to select the final distribution board enclosure as per the load schedule. To better understand this topic let us take an example. This is the load schedule for the final distribution board. You can see here this is a two bedroom flat final distribution board load schedule. Here the incomer of this final distribution board is 63 ampere triple pole isolator. So this three pole 63 ampere isolator is equivalent to three module. Now let us check in this final distribution board how many sections are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
so total eight section is there and each section have 30 milliampere or 100 milliampere four pole ELCB one ELCB one ELCB is equivalent to four module so how many ELCB is there eight ELCB because this DB has eight section so eight ELCB will have how many modules 4 into 8 32 modules now let's move forward and we will count how many circuits are going to be fed from this db we will include the space as well as the spare so how many circuits are feeding from this final distribution board total 23 circuits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 like that it's coming till 33 circuits so each circuit will represent one module so there is total how many circuits 33 circuits so, so how many modules is there 33 modules apart from this you have to check that this final DB have any timer or UV relay or the contactor so this information you will get from the remark section so let us check is there any UV relay yes there is UV relay plus timer and UV relay plus timer so there is two sets of UV relay and timer UV relay and auto reset timer is used for FCU if you can see here it is been used for FCU here also FCU so it is it has been used for FCUs the UV relay is equivalent to one module to four module depend on depend upon the model of the UV relay and the timer is equivalent to one module if you have the technical data sheet for UV relay then choose the specific module which is matching to the data sheet of UV relay if you don't have much information for the UV relay during selecting the enclosure size of the DB then choose for safe side 5 module for one set of UV relay and timer so how many we uh, how many set we have for uv relay and timer two sets so there will be 10 modules for two sets of uv relay and timer now let us tabulate all the information which we extracted from the given load schedule here the incomer is 63 ampere triple pole isolator which is equivalent to three module so i wrote here the 63 ampere triple pole isolator is equivalent to 3 module this DB load schedule has 8 section each section have either 30 ampere or 30 milliampere or 100 milliampere 4 pole ELCB each ELCB is equivalent to 4 module so total 8 ELCB will be equivalent to 8 into 4 module that is 32 module how many single phase circuits are available in this final distribution board including including space and spare it is 33 and each circuit single phase circuit will be equivalent to one module so i tabulated this information also the total number of mcb with space and spare provision is 33 which is equivalent to 33 modules now how many UV relay and timer set is available in this DB there is two UV relay and timer sets available in DB for the safe side I choose for one set five module so for two sets of UV relay and auto reset timer there will be 10 modules so add all these modules that is three module for the incomer 32 module for the DB sections 
and 33 module for the DB circuit that is MCB and 10 modules for the UV relay and auto reset timer. So if we will add this one we will get 78 module. As I told in my previous video DB enclosure size are coming in standard size only. For the row type DB the standard size available are 1 row 16 module, 2 row 16 module, 3 row 16 and 24 module, fourth one is 4 row 16 and 24 module, 5 row 16 and 24 module and 6 row 16 and 24 module. So in this example we have total module 78. One row 16 module DB can accommodate only 16 module. So this cannot be our selection. Two row 16 module DB can accommodate 32 modules. So this will also be not our selection. Three row 16 module can accommodate 48 and 3 row 24 module can accommodate 72 modules which is also lesser than our requirement so this also cannot be our selection 4 row 16 module db enclosure can accommodate only 64 module which is also lesser than our requirement so this cannot be our selection 4 row 24 module db enclosure can accommodate 96 modules which is greater than our requirement so we can select a db of 4 row 4 row of 24 modules 5 row of 16 module db can accommodate 80 modules which is greater than our requirement so we can choose a db of 5 row okay a db of 5 row and 16 module from all this discussion we can conclude that the 78 module the 78 module can be accommodated in either 4 row 24 module db or 5 row 16 module db as the 4 row 28 module db can accommodate 96 module and 5 row 16 module db can accommodate 80 modules if we need a bigger size db enclosure then, then we will go for 4 in 4 row 24 module db if we need exactly or slightly bigger than our requirement then we will go for 5 row 16 module db enclosure here i have selected a 5 row 1 2 3 4 5 5 row 16 module db enclosure to accommodate my requirement that is 78 module if there is a provision for future then you may choose 4 row of 25 24 module that is uh, db enclosure to accommodate 78 modules hope you understand this video if you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning bye bye thank you so much